Welcome back. It's your nerdy suburban farmer. I have another video today hanging out with the worms. Just doing an update on all my bins and migration trays. So starting off with my regular totes, just moving around the soil in here. Now the castings that are in the regular totes is still pretty wet. It is drying out some, but I noticed that it was slightly wetter than it was the previous week. So this week I'm going to give the bins a bit of a drier feeding and they received carrots and squash for this week. But overall, the castings themselves are pretty good. Still a bit clumpy, but overall looking really well. I find that carrots and squash like butternut, kushaw, and the um, carnival hold less water than things like a zucchini or a yellow squash would. So I'm giving them carrots and the winter squash to give them a good source of nutrients, but also to not put as much water and moisture back into the bin. Thing, the conditions are getting a lot better considering that it's cooling down here in New Jersey, but it's not time yet for me to put the bubble wrap. So since I still have some worms hanging out on the bubble wrap, I left it in the bin, but I didn't spread it over the top. For bin number two, the conditions towards the top and away from where the bubble wrap, as you can see, is a bit drier. Now, that was just on the top of the castings. The castings themselves still were dry as you got down further. I'm sorry, still were wet as you got down further and clumpy, but the area towards the top was drier. So I know that the cheesecloth is doing its job. So with this bin, it's getting the same type of feeding, some carrots and some winter squash to help it dry out a bit more. Now this was a clump, which doesn't look like you can see it too well, but it was a clump of worms that I found. And both colonies in the tote are doing really well. Now these totes have been in service since April. And even though it's October, because the bins were super wet, over the summer, I did not harvest the castings. So once it gets a little bit drier and the cardboard that I added in the recent weeks break down, these bins are pretty much overdue for their harvesting. I usually try to harvest my bins once every three to four months. Moving over to the harvest trays. In this bin, if you see around the edges, they're drying out as well. And I'm actually not upset that the finished castings are dry because I wanna keep them drier. It makes it a lot easier to sift dry castings than to sift wet castings. But what I'm doing now is checking to see if I see any worms. And unlike the first week when I put the bait or the castings into the harvest bins, there's not a lot of worms in the castings that are left. So I'm getting really close to being able to stop the harvest and the baiting on these and get to the sifting phase. Once I open the tote where the worms will be going, I check the conditions in here. Now, last time I didn't feed in here, I just left the cardboard and the new material, new bedding material that was created in here. And the worms are looking pretty good, except for the material's a bit dry. So I'm gonna mix everything up and then dump the worms from the harvest trays in here. Now in this tray, there were still quite a few worms left, but definitely not as much as it was the first week that I did this. So I'm gonna fill this bait tray up again, but since there was food that the worms hadn't 
finished and processed. I'm just gonna mix everything in together here and close up the bag. And I almost forgot, in this one I do wanna put the bubble wrap in here because it was kind of dry from the previous week and I want to keep as much moisture because the vermi bags do allow moisture to wick out pretty quickly and I didn't want this to dry out and to have a problem like I did last winter and then with the bait tray I'm just gonna push the material closer to the bait tray the principle in this is to give it a shorter distance for the worms to travel to who's ever left and I got this idea from the gentleman who makes the vermi bags by doing the baiting this way. Now, unlike the previous week, I am putting cardboard at the top. Since there's not many worms, I don't want to take a lot of castings with me when I take the tray out the next time. So the layer of cardboard lets me know to stop uh, removing the finished castings from the top there, and that way I'm taking just the worms and the leftover food. For the second tray, now these castings were still a bit wetter than the previous batch of finished castings but as I sifted through this batch there weren't a lot of worms present in the castings now if there are worms present it's okay they'll just get sifted out when it comes to the sifting trays but I do want to let that one air out a bit more than the other one and then same thing inside the vermi tote the castings were a bit dry but once I dumped the tray, those uh, finished castings or the worms and the leftover uh, material in there was kind of wet. So I just chose to mix that in instead of covering it with the bubble wrap. It's a lot more worms in this bait tray than the other tray and it was still for two weeks worth of harvesting a good portion of worms that I recovered baiting in just two weeks. This would be a good time if you're considering to split your bags if you want to create more colonies. Since you're baiting your worms out they're all right there you could just split it in half if you wanted to. I don't want to split mine in half the five bins that I have are good so I'm just going to mix this all in. And as you see, it's considerably wetter than the um, finished castings or baited worms that from the previous one. So just mixing in that material was enough to add moisture to this bin. So I didn't do anything additional and I didn't add any extra food because there was more food in that one. They still have a food source in the cardboard, so I don't really have to add fresh food to any of the bins. I forgot to do it in both of the harvest trees, but I should be putting in the grit. It's okay to miss a week. There should be enough grit in the finished castings that are there, but always add the grit to the food before covering it up. Moving over to the final bin, which is the Wormy Bag Mini. I'm just pointing out that I have worms here that are sitting on the top of the cardboard. And again, as I say each week, that's where you want your worms in your vermi bags. You want them at the top so that the bottom, when you harvest, there's no worms there. Now the castings are pretty wet here as well. They don't appear to be drying. So I'm going to do a feeding 
and the, it's going to get the same carrots and squash but i am going to add additional cardboard to the feeding to ensure that the moisture levels regulate a little bit better as the weather is getting cooler that should help as well with the wicking but still i'm going to add some additional cardboard that i wouldn't normally add and with that i finished up with this bag and that concludes this week's update for the worms i hope you join me next week and that you've enjoyed this content thanks for watching <laughs>